Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your mid-May 2019 general reading. This is a general reading so it will not resonate with every Pisces who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, also, starting something new here. If you have a yes or no question after viewing the, the reading, comment below. And every Friday, I'll choose a series of questions, maybe five to ten questions, to answer on my live uh, video every Friday. So if you feel like you want a question answered, it has to be a yes or no question, not an eight-part question, but yes or no question. Comment below your question. Your question could be selected so that I answer it live this Friday, okay? So go ahead and comment below, and that's going to happen every Friday. All right, so um, just be respective of the just the dates. So if you feel like you're watching this and it's been three weeks ago, then of course try to find the the latest video and comment there so you can get your question answered. So anyway, let's move into this. All right, so we've got cards pull for love, and then we have for career and finance. All right, so. In love, there's a situation where there is either a Pisces uh, who has inserted them, their way in a relationship, an established relationship, a marriage. Um, you know, they're dealing with someone who's married or um, there's a Pisces who is married uh, and maybe wanting to give love somewhere else with someone else uh in the marriage the two of you guys are kind of cold um cold to each other um not close not speaking not not speaking in terms of how you feel about the relationship uh there's also um yeah, there's a Pisces wanting a change of home or journey, wanting a change, wanting to be somewhere else with someone else. There's a Pisces who looks like they're going to move, like a physical move. Um, there's a Pisces ready to start over, start anew with someone. This could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, this person may be married. There's problems in that existing marriage. This could even be a second marriage for the Pisces or a second marriage for the person you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be. But there's problems in that existing marriage. Um, either you Pisces or the other person feels like you're the soulmate. Uh, you're, you're obligated to someone, but then there's someone else you want. And the, you want somebody to end something, something that is been what they have deemed and spoken to you as a burden, uh, obligation. And them ending that, that brings you good fortune. So it looks like somebody who was a bit in and out. They have been or they are being a reliable friend right now. Um, but you want the chance to start over with this person. But then there's also the relationship that is not the relationship. Not the ideal one anymore. Somebody is not. There's no communication there. There's a person, Aries Sagittarius Leo, who's, who's been off and on hot and cold. They're still the bachelor. They're still out partying. They do what they want. You want to start anew with them. You want a, a fresh, clean slate. Let's make something happen between the two of us. You feel like this would be a really good partner for you. Also, there might be some good Samaritan help. Like There's a reliable friend here. Somebody helps you out. Uh, we're gonna pull. Pull from this deck. Okay. Um, 
gonna pull a few cards and then um, take this over to the website to see what's going on what can you tell the Pisces in love those who are in a relationship and there's not much communication it's night and day hot and cold maybe you want to start over you want this person or they want you to lay down the burden and release and let's you know let's start anew because they feel as if you are their soulmate there is no going anywhere else you could be dealing with an Aquarius Gemini Libra Aries Sagittarius Cancer Pisces score everybody's here yeah everybody's here so. some of the this may be same sex you may be feeling this way about um, so some of you guys may be same sex, but then you you have feelings toward the opposite sex. This this is somebody outside of your uh, established relationship. Three of Wands. Yeah, someone's waiting to. Somebody wants to get back into the creating stage with you, back into. Um, This may be you, Pisces, with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or vice versa. Someone is waiting to come to you, start to create the relationship again, and maybe have something solid and true, the Four of Wands with you. But you guys are um, pretty much still in the, the, the growing, the creating, or the recreating stage here. Someone's waiting for the opportunity to... Uh, let's see three of pentacles what did i tell you you guys are so our threes govern creation right the new start of i am doing the work i am the work would be the three of wands the three of pentacles this is um an established affair uh an, a, an established um rebuilding or I, I want to put in the work i am trying to have something solid and true trying to get to the fours trying to change the status of some of you want to be married you want a family you want all of that you want the white picket fence some of you are just and you're wanting this with a particular person let's see uh the death card you could be dealing with scorpio some of you feel like you never get out of the creating phase with a particular person. Like you never can get to a solid, true relationship. Maybe with an Aries person. Um, maybe, can, yeah, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo. Some of you want to completely transform this whole, for you, run around. You know, this whole way of how you guys operate with each other. It's like, come on, let's, you know, have, let's start a real relationship. Let's start building a life together. Uh, the devil mm, and the king of cups. Again, um... This could definitely be third party. Some of you want that to end. You know, you want that to end. You want something real. Um, you feel like this will always be that type of way. You feel chained to, um, yeah. You feel chained to this relationship. I think because it brings you some level of stability. You you know that this person is there even in their inconsistency the door is always open some of you are fearful of exactly expressing how you feel or fearful of showing how you feel especially in the same sex relationship here 
um, you feel like it's just going to be hard to transform this into something you really, really want. And that's a real relationship. Some of you feel like there's some, you really sexually attracted to a person or vice versa, they're, them to you. Yeah. Okay. So let's jump into career and finance. We're going to see what this is about over at the website. To see what your advice is. To see how this other person feels. Okay. Alright. So in career and finance we have the hermit. We have the five of wands. We have the emperor. We have the seven of wands in reverse. Now none of my cards should be reversed. But that came out reversed. Four of swords upright. And the moon governing the career and financial read so there might be some unexpected turn or that maybe there was some unexpected shift turn in regards to uh, relationship uh, relationship at work or work relationship uh, in regards to relationship you and the, the job you and the career there was something that is um, uh, something that happened here some some change some event um something or someone working behind the scenes uh something unknown there's only but a partial of whatever is supposed to be known it's only a partial you only know partial you know this but you don't know that and that causes a bit of emotional confusion um and some stagnation some of you are regretting a purchase um or yeah or or some of you have examined yourself you have gone and separated yourself from the fight the five of wands you no longer want to battle uh maybe with a uh, large institution government law university corporation um you you've released that and you've got and you've gotten in control of that some of you are business owners who put too much, um, okay, too much money, threw too much money away on a business or business. Um, you're, you're releasing seven of wands in reverse, definitely releasing and relinquishing like hold of that. Like it's now a time for recovery and um, rest, a break. Some of you. Some of you had a lot of obligations and a lot of people asking you for money or, or asking you to um, yeah, be financially obligated to something. Uh, you did that for a spell for a time period and now you're releasing. Some of you were saving. You saved a, a, a good amount of money. You got some insight, opinion about what to do with money, how to grow it and or you got some insight about what you need to do or, or how you need to look at money. Money is energy. It needs to be free flowing, go in and go out. So some of you are kind of um, releasing that that hold on your money. You spend a little bit more freely now. Um, and you're getting what you want. And you're, you maybe even be doing some self-care, taking care of yourself. Some of you may do some work on yourself. Um, so so yeah, there may be at, at your job or if you work for a big, you know, corporation institution, there may be some underlining change here. Some unexpected, unforeseen event happening here with the moon. There's some some energy behind the scenes here. The hermit, the five of wands, the emperor, seven of wands in reverse, four of swords upright. Um there's also somebody waiting for judgment. Somebody doesn't want to fight with the ex anymore about money. We're going to see what this is about over the other side. Let's go ahead and pull a few cards.
four of fire yeah so some of you just trying to regain stability you've kind of released maybe a fighting for of of a um a job uh not even a job fighting with an institution fighting with or for um Yes, some of you are um, a career in finance. You you know that you need to get your stability back. There was somebody pouring a lot of energy, effort, maybe time, even money into a situation, which then made you unstable. So now it's about recovery, recovery of um, your money, recovery of having more stability. The Hermit, the Five of Wands. What is this about? The Hermit. Okay cards dropped to a fire eight of earth and the messenger word yeah so this is a this seven of fire the bottom of the deck um this was definitely about being at a crossroads being at opposition do i continue to put the energy effort work money time into this trying to grow this um you had a crossroads in regards to some of you went back to school or or yeah that you learned a second skill now you're at a crossroads in regards to do you even put that skill to work do you leave current job that you put a lot of energy effort time into some of you it's business some of you it's job um some of you put a lot of work into trying to get what you want out of maybe husband ex-husband something a business owner older gentleman um, something of that nature um, some of you wonder do I go back to school do I what I what can I do um, last card the hangman definitely you and you need to see things from a 360 degree angle you're waiting for a little bit more information right there's some things unknown right with the moon card governing this you know this but you don't know that and you're waiting for a quote unquote the, the other shoe to drop a little bit more knowledge of okay so we're gonna see at the other side what this is about in regards to career and finance or what the advice is here um is something you do creatively do i keep pouring work into creative work uh, or something that i'm, I'm going to love to do just opposing uh, it's so much going on here opposition here um, do i keep on fighting the battle in regards to legal like a divorce separation something about money here trying to get the payout trying to get money to keep coming in um, somebody's giving you money or money you don't know what somebody's intention is in regards to them giving you money You know that they love you, they like you, or whatnot. But okay, so what do we do after that? Or what was your intention for me? Okay, all right. So meet me on the other side. So many questions to answer within this reading. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Remember to comment below your question. Your question could be answered Friday of this week and every other week. Uh, it could be selected to be answered live this Friday. Okay, so comment below. Yes or no question. Um, Pisces, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. All links are below. Links to the extended read here. It's only $2. Thank you guys. Take care.